This boss is the hardest fight in the game so far. I fought this guy after I beat the Devourer, so I don't know if I was just really weak at this point or if this fight is actually meant to be this hard, but I beat the fuck out of him eventually. We're gonna go through each of his attacks and the best ways to avoid and punish them, and I'll also show you how I beat him with my specific build because it was fucking broken. I was skipping phases like crazy. The fight starts with these two pyramid-like enemies which have a couple of moves they can do. The goal of this fight is to destroy both of them quickly so that you can access the boss's core. If you don't destroy them fast enough, they'll merge together and do a couple of new attacks. You want to avoid this as much as possible because as far as I could tell, the boss itself can't take any damage in this phase. I don't play with damage numbers on so I can't tell you that for sure. The best way to destroy the pyramids is to wait to see what attacks they're doing and then pick which one to go for accordingly. For example, if one of them is shielding the other, go for the ones that's trying to do the shield because you won't be able to damage the one that's being shielded so you'll lose time which may mean they merge together. If one of them is charging you and the other one isn't, go for that one. The same principle applies here, you need to save as much time as you can. The fight is designed so that you can destroy both of them, do damage to the boss, wait for them to spawn again where they'll merge because you have a short time to destroy them and then you have to avoid a shit ton of attacks, rinse and repeat. Fuck that. I figured out a way to just bomb rush them and destroy them as soon as they spawn each time which is what you've been seeing on the screen. We'll go into my strat layer because it's more specific to what items I have available. For now I'll just give you general advice on how to fight this guy. The pyramids aren't that bad. They can do a laser attack which is easy to dodge because a lot of the enemies in this area had lasers. It functions exactly the same. They shield each other and can do a charge attack. They never both do the same thing at the same time so it's pretty easy to not get hit here. The easiest thing to do is just teleport up above one of them with your arrow and pogo a little before you go to the side and attack while jumping. As soon as one is dead, teleport or run to the other side and fuck up the other one. Remember that this is the easiest part of the fight. You need to learn how to destroy both of them quickly and consistently because this is the only way to get to the boss's core and do damage to the boss itself. When you're able to damage the boss, you have two options to how you dodge the lasers. The first is that you can use a shield to just tank through it like I am here, but this is obviously a last resort kind of thing if you just have the basic shield. It's weird to describe it, but the laser will turn on and try to attack you in a predictable way. After a certain amount of time fighting this guy, you'll be able to guess when the laser is coming at you, and you can shoot a light arrow on the ceiling to teleport over the laser and avoid it. In the meantime, you'll just be pogoing on the boss trying to get some damage in. If that's too hard for you, damaging the boss and dodging the laser at the same time, you can stay on the ground, but that will significantly reduce your DPS on him because you'll have to jump up to hit him, and you don't really want that, you want this fight to be as fast as possible. After doing enough damage, the fight resets and the pyramids respawn. Now you have a much shorter window to kill them. Without the build I was using later in the video, you probably won't be able to destroy them here unless you have a shit ton of damage. They will inevitably merge together and will enter a different phase of attacks. They can go blue where they start shooting projectiles and fly across the map. Don't go out of your way here to hit the shield because like I said earlier, I'm not sure it does anything. This is just simple dodging, focus more on your character than the boss, it will make it easier to dodge the little projectiles. By that I mean literally look at your character so that you can react to anything that comes close to you. If you're trapped with no way out, use the shield to avoid a guaranteed hit, it's worth it. This perfect attack you see here is absolutely fucked. Listen, I, I couldn't figure out a consistent way to dodge it, okay? The best option here though is to pogo on him so that you can react to the different waves a bit easier. Use your light arrows to teleport because you can't just use simple dashes and jumps to avoid this shit. It's a fucked attack. I don't know what the fuck you're meant to do here to be honest. With the Oxonite crystal, which is the shield upgrade, the timing works such that you don't even have to dodge. Just time the shield for each wave and you're fine. It completely trivializes this whole attack. That's why I can't recommend it enough because this is his... I, I don't know how to dodge the attack. I'm gonna be honest, okay? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> he can also summon adds, which I'm pretty sure he heals off of if you don't kill them in time. Now, these enemies take a shit ton of hits to kill. I very rarely killed all of them, but you can definitely kill at least one without rushing. Don't just take a shit ton of damage trying to get all of them because it's not worth it. I don't know how much they heal him because it's not like he has a health bar. They still drop blood for you after they die, which is decent. Don't get greedy here, this fight can be very long, you need your hearts. These are the gems I decided to use for this fight. It was way too hard without them, so I would suggest you at least use the Voice of the Abyss, which is that dark slash I have on, because it adds so much more damage, because you have your initial sword swipe, 
and then also the wave that comes out but i would definitely recommend the oxenite crystal which is the shield upgrade it will let you tank a shit ton of damage for free i'm gonna use this for the rest of the fucking game to be honest this shit is broken this fight is hard you need to get used to bum rushing the pyramids or you'll just get outlasted by the boss here's the full fight i kind of rape him here because i fought him for an hour straight i hope it helps I thought it would be a good idea just to do a little voiceover over the final fight itself so it's not just silence. If you want silence, mute me. <laughs> I don't really give a fuck. So yeah, the fucking shield uh, oxenite crystal thing was just over overpowered to be honest. I'm not gonna lie, it's just so broken. This is the first time I started using it. I started using it specifically for this boss because I was trying to find a way to actually beat him. When you're fighting these bosses, you can kind of get an idea of how far in the fight you are and whether or not it's actually even possible to beat them, right? You can kind of tell. With this guy, I could I could not see an end to him because I just did not have enough damage. You see, I can just rape these fuckers, man. Two pogues and two slashes to the side and they're dead. And I can spam my shield during this. So let me explain how the shield actually works. So the shield lasts for like half a second, but if you actually block an attack with it it lasts a bit longer and the cooldown is insane i don't actually know how long it is so one mississippi two mississippi it's like fucking almost three seconds that's that's kind of fun right and all that means is you have a shield that you can actually use to block shit now the base shield is garbage you can maybe use it every now and then for a fight just to stop you from taking one hard damage that might have been run ending you know but this fight literally completely changes how you can approach any obstacle because you can just keep shielding <laughs> so yeah i decided to just start standing in this corner for this blue bit i didn't really see a need to run around if he was going to come close to me i'll just shield i got hit there because i didn't want to shield that shot because if you miss the shield, if you miss the block, then you get punished with a very long cooldown, right? So it is smart just to pace yourself and only shield when you know you're about to get hit. Same thing, look, I go for the one that's not uh, shielded, destroy him so that they can't fuse together. Now you have a lot of time to destroy this one. It's not as tight anymore. Destroying the first one is basically the key. You need to get the first one dead straight away. Otherwise, they'll fuse together. Yeah, it's insane. I'm just watching this shit now. And I don't think I'm ever going to play the game the same way ever again with these two upgrades. The sword slashes and the fucking shield. Well, he's dead. He can suck my dick. I spent, what, an hour and a half fighting him, I think, between both of my uh, builds. If you enjoyed the video and you clapped his cheeks after watching it, please remember to leave a like and comment as well if you want to leave some feedback. If you want to see more content like this in the future, subscribe. I wish you all good luck. Well, good skill, because that's what you're going to fucking need against this prick. Peace.